Elizabeth Gaskell. She was born in September 1810 in London, England. She died at the age of 55 years old in November 1865. She was a very famous author. When she was very little, she was sent to live with her aunt because her mother passed away. Her father got married again, so Elizabeth didn't have much contact with him, but she had a brother that sometimes visited her. She traveled a lot because she didn't have a firm home. When she was older, she married William Gaskell. She was influenced by the industrial general because her husband was an Unitarian minister. Her son William died when he was very little, so she was inspired to write Mary Barton, her first book. She began a diary, where she wrote about her family, her role as a mother, her religious faith, and the relationship between her daughters. German literature influenced in her short stories. Her first fiction book was Libby Marge's Three Heirs. Elizabeth's most famous books are Mary Barton, which is about a girl named Mary who wants the best for her father and herself because her mother and brother passed away. Cranford, which are a collection of comic sketches published in 1851. North and South, which is a social novel published in 1855. It was based in Milton, where Elizabeth lived as the wife of an Unitarian minister. It has been adapted for television twice. Wives and Daughters, published as a serial, when Elizabeth died suddenly in 1865, Frederick Greenwood continued the last section. She also has wrote Ruth, Sylvia's Lover, Around the Sofa, The Early Years, and many more. I think Elizabeth was a very important author because most of her novels and short stories were inspired in her real life. She contributed with many important novels during the Victorian era. She also is a feminist symbol because in that time women didn't have many rights, so she inspired many women to do what they really wanted.